So today we ran the Swamp Runner Mud Motor Kit. It is the medium kit and it ran awesome. We went ahead, dropped it in the water in the first run, I had no issues. I had the gimbal on the outside of the transom bracket, which was the way it's supposed to run. It had the travel of angles, so it didn't bottom out on the bracket and it ran absolutely great. Um, I got some great speeds out of it. The handle was where it needed to be transom bracket fit awesome at full throttle um, the CLP beaver dam one you couldn't get full throttle out of that you either had to have full throttle and a high idle speed or get idle speed in like three quarter of full throttle you would never get the full full travel of it so the CKS the mudskipper kit did have full throttle travel and this swamp runner kit had that also um, the prop ran fine, stayed in the water, very easy to handle. The other two kits, I could never get it to easily handle. As soon as you went over 13 uh, miles per hour, that prop would just jump out of the wake and that prop would never stay in the water. You'd always have to force it. And I think that's the issue that a lot of people have in saying that these mud water kits aren't fun because they're always having to horse it and keep that throttle or that prop in the water and it's just no fun and it's not easy to handle. So with this kit, I was able just to bolt it on, no modifications, no nothing, and it ran perfect. Prop stayed in the water, got up to, my max speed was 23 miles per hour, but I did have to horse on a little bit, but I was able to get 20 miles per hour with it just floating and easily handling where you can just use one finger to hold it there. So it all depends on your setup and the major thing with these kits is what kind of boat you're running. So you gotta talk with these mud motor kit brands and see what they say. If they're just a call away, so if you have a problem with them, just give them a call and they'll gladly help you with your purchase. So the first time out with the Swamp Runner kit, put it on the boat and it ran. I just centered it up on the transom. I have it marked, switching all these kits out. I have it marked on my transom so it's easy to find. So put it on the boat. I kept the gimbal on the outside of the boat like it's supposed to be mounted and went to run it and I had no issues whatsoever. I did run into the prop shooting out when I went up to like max RPMs when I was getting up to 18, 19 miles an hour. The prop would jump out of the water because I was out running that weight. So having a 100 inch shaft may do better, but I did bend the skeg and that fixed that issue. So. I think the 100 inch shaft would run better, but the 85 inch shaft does run good. I just had to bend that skeg a little bit to help keep it in that wake. Um, I did run the other kits trying to get them to ride right for 8 or 10 hours, but I did spend one whole day out on the water, which was 3 or 4, maybe even 5 hours long trying to get those to ride right and adjust them to get, to get them to go good, and I could not get them to ride right. So the prop stayed in the water, it was easy to control, tail weight was a little heavier compared to the other kits, but the prop stayed in the water. And it became weightless when you got on planes, so you never really noticed it unless you were just idling around. I got some really good speeds out of it, I'll go ahead and say those right now. The max speed that I've gotten is 23 miles an hour and that's with a 9 inch prop. The standard base test that I've been doing all these kits with is an 8.5 inch prop. So with that 8.5 inch prop this motor is spinning it fairly easy. It is governing out in that uh, rev limiter. So I'm getting to 38 maybe 3900 RPMs and I'm getting 18 miles an hour with the Swamp Runner 8.5 inch prop in the kit. Um, I did try their weedless prop, which was a 8.75 inch weedless. It's a lot heavier prop, a lot different than the other weedless props. And it rode very smooth, a lot smoother than the other props. There's no like vibration, so to say. It's like really just smooth and it floats. And um, it's a great running prop. So with that 8.75 weedless prop, I did get up to 19 miles per hour and that was where I was governing out at too. So this, with this boat set up and the motor, I seem to be spinning these props no problem. So that's why I jumped up to that 9 inch prop. So with this SPS Swamp Runner kit, 
it was the only kit out of the three kits I tested, the Beaver Dam, Mud Runner Kit, Swamp Runner Kit, and Mud Skipper Kit. The Swamp Runner Kit was the only one that was easy to handle and would go over 13 miles an hour and have the props stay in the water and just be easy to control. So I didn't have to flip this transmit around. The handle was right where it needed to be. The throttle had the full travel of the engine throttle to it, so I had idle speed and I had max throttle. And it was easy to handle, which made it fun to ride. So I'll go ahead and link the articles um, to this video somewhere on the screen here. And you can click on it, it's just a little informational card. It'll take you over to my website and you'll see the written article. I put more detail in there because I can, more things come to my mind when I'm writing it. So there will be more information on there. You can also find that down in the description if you want. Um, I put all the information down there so that way it's easy for you to navigate through what you want to find. I also created a Facebook group. It's called TLT Mud Motors, it stands for Thai Long Tail Mud Motors. And it's just a community, a group that I started where I figured you could join it if you wanted to, voice your opinion, or what you think about how the series is going, or your experiences with the kit that you have. If you'd like to help support JT Gatoring, just go ahead and subscribe if you'd like and share the video with a friend that you think may benefit from it and enjoy the video. So I hope you enjoy the video and learn something from it. Um, I'm having a great time with these mud motors and we'll uh, get to it next week. So I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.